facts. These are sort of like proven, at least somewhat proven techniques for getting over or beginning to get over the attack of anger. So the first thing, a good thing to do is admit that you are angry and sort of look your condition in the face, so to speak. Admit you're angry. Then second point, second stage, you could do a little analysis and write down, write down why you're angry, what, what has happened, and what is, you could say, the reasoning, the logic behind your, your anger. And, you know, particularly if you, if you do like that, it'll help you understand whether there is really a need to be angry or even if there, you feel there's some need, but maybe, maybe the situation doesn't deserve your being as angry as you're feeling. Here's a third thing, uh, mantra basically meaning spiritual sound vibration sound vibration which it is in and of itself of a spiritual nature and in that way it helps to cleanse it helps to clean out um, one's consciousness uh, prayer of course means basically like appeal some appeal for some mercy some help in in life so we suggest after you've admitted you're ang angry and you're faced up to it, yes, okay, I'm angry. And you've done some analysis of why and thought about whether the situation is really worth being angry about. Chant some mantras and or, or, and or offer some prayers for help. Then here's a fourth thing, and this is a really good one. Try to step back from it. Distance yourself. You know, right at the beginning, a couple of days ago, we talked about uh, when, when you're trying to analyze your condition, your state of mind, the state of your emotions, it really helps to step back and have an objective look at yourself. Otherwise, you tend to not be able to see the forest for the trees. You get so caught up in yourself that you can't really see yourself clearly enough to, to help yourself. So that's the fourth thing. Try to step back, distance yourself from the whole situation, including your anger, including what caused you to react like that. Then a, a fifth thing, and this is, it's a little more subtle. It's, it's related to uh, the second one, you know, your analysis. In fact, you could say it's, it's part of the analysis, but it's, it's very kind of, foundational in that process, try to understand what was the trigger? What was really the trigger of the, of your anger? And number six, well, this is, <laughs> I mean, this is not really so deep or profound actually, but it can help. Take a deep breath. You know what my mother told me when I was a child, you know, I mean, more than six, like 65 years ago. My mother told me that, you know, if something goes wrong, 
and you, you know, anger is coming. My mother said, count to 10 first before you express yourself. And anyway, that's just by the way. And now where are we? Number seven, take a break. Go for a walk in a different environment, a peaceful environment, like go to a, a nice park, something like that. And just a different environment and, and a pleasant environment. So these things generally, they help, they can help, and oftentimes they, they do help. You know, I was specifically addressing this, the, the point of anger, letting go of anger, 